Well, welcome to the course, uh, Optimization in Finance. Uh, my name is Kuroj Rasmussen, and uh, I'll be the, the lecturer of this course for, for, for the entire uh, next 13 weeks. Um, well, today I'm going to, to present uh, what you're going to expect from the course. So, so we'll start with uh, just a very small lecture, 10, 15 minutes, going through the topics uh, week by week, what you're going to expect from this course, and in also in general, what are the expectations that, uh, that you should have uh, from the course. Um, and then uh, I will jump into uh, talking a little bit uh, about financial markets in broad terms. And then finally, I end up with actually getting uh, your hands on, on, on some mathematical programming. And that would be more or less for the first uh, hour uh, where we are actually going to be uh, filmed as well. And then after that, you're going to stay here for another three hours and then we'll, we'll just work on the, on the assignments. So let's get started with the first part, which is just the, the broad introduction to the course. Right, you, you've got these uh, uh, slides, by the way, uh, also on, uh, on your uh, uh, file sharing in CampusNet. So today, uh, the, the first day, uh, as I said, uh, there's going to be an introduction uh, to the course, plus uh, there's going to be an introduction to, to GAMS, which is General Algebraic Modeling System. I don't know if uh, some of you are familiar with that. Maybe I can get a show of hands who's, who's already been programming in GAMS. Uh, well, I mean, we're not assuming that all of you know uh, GAMS beforehand. That's why the first three, three uh, days of the course, we're going to start quite slow on GAMS. But obviously, those of you who don't know GAMS beforehand, then you have to, to probably run a bit faster to catch up with, uh, with the other ones. Um, so we're going to use uh, this software GAMS intensively in this as part of this, this course. And starting actually from, from today, you will get to do your first exercises on that. Um, more uh, specifically, you're going to work with the uh, mean variance model of Markovich, which is uh, an optimization model for asset allocation, uh, which was already uh, kind of uh, invented back in 1952. So it's kind of the oldest optimization model in, 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 in finance uh, as, as we know it. Right. Um, next week, um, they're going to build on top of that, that model. So some of you who already had the course uh, Introduction to Financial Engineering, I suppose I can see some, some faces. Can I again get a show of hands who, who had Introduction to Financial Engineering? Uh, right, there are, there are some. There's, again, these courses are supposed to be, uh, the, the courses we have in financial engineering are, are supposed to be um, kind of standing on their own. So, so even if you haven't had financial introduction to financial engineering, you should still be doing fine. But obviously, then again, then there's, you have some catching up to do. I'll get back to, I'll give you some, uh, some links that uh, some of you might be uh, needing a bit more than some of the others who already had the, the introductory course. All right, but then I'm going to build on top of the, the, the Markovich model that you've, I mean, if you had already the introduction to financial engineering, you've been introduced to that model. But from next week, we are building some assumptions on top of the, uh, the, the mean variance model of Markovich. We're entering into some practical constraints which are of uh, great importance in real life, but uh, you can't with uh, kind of the, uh, uh, the, the methods that you've been introduced in the introductory course, uh, you can't really solve uh, those problems. That's uh, part of the thing that you, you, you learn in, in this class to, to essentially tackle some real life, life uh, problems uh, when it comes to, to financial optimization. Right, and then we'll, we'll essentially use the next two sessions uh, on extensions to the mean variance model. Uh, the practical extensions, practical real-life extensions, and while doing that, you'll also learn more about um, gaps and, and working with that. And then we'll move into the area of fixed income. It's uh, uh, fixed incomes or bonds. Uh, bonds uh, essentially are the, the products which are used in financial markets to, to finance loans. So whenever you're taking a, a loan, uh, uh, it could be a mortgage loan or it could be a, a bank loan, then there are bonds on the other side. Of, of, of the loan, so, so we'll be spending a couple of sessions on that. There will be a midterm project where you will be essentially working with what you learned in GAMS and also specifically what you learned about the, the fixed income markets, about the bonds. Um, then we have uh, on the 15th of uh, October is the fall break, where you essentially have also that week to work on the midterm project. You have to hand in by 
uh, the, the, the week after, you know, the 22nd of October. Then we move into uh, scenario optimization, scenario generation. So now we're getting into some more advanced models compared to Markovich. We go back to the area of asset allocation. We'll focus the last part of the course on asset allocation. Um, I'll introduce uh, you to exchange traded funds and, and feature selections. And that kind of uh, brings you to the final project. You will, be, you will have kind of enough knowledge to, to start with the, with the final project of the course. But before that, uh, so the, 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 the way you will be examining this, this course is there are two projects, a midterm project on, on bonds or the fixed income markets. Then there is a final project which is on, on asset allocation uh, using exchange traded funds as, as the underlying product. So you will, be, you will work like an asset manager. Um, and use some of the models you learned uh, about during this course to, to do your own asset allocation using GAMPS as your software. Um, but then you, you also, just before starting on your final project, um, I want you also to, in, in groups, each of you have to pick up one financial crisis that you fall in love with in one way or the other, and then you have to come and present it. So, so you have to pick up, there are so many financial crises, I don't know if any of you uh, already uh, have your own favorite financial crisis, but by uh, uh, 12th of uh, November, you should have a pretty good idea and should be able also to present it. So I want you to, to, to explain like what went before the financial crisis happened, in which country or which region, what were the reasons, could it have been avoided if circumstances were different, and so on. So, so that would be a short presentation of 10 to 15 minutes per, per each group. So that would be also part of your, your examination. And then after you hand in your final project, which would be maybe a week after the final day of the course, then there will be an oral exam, which is an individual basis. So everything else you do is in groups, and then the final exam would be, there, was, there would be also an oral individual exam in the end. Um, not quite sure, but we'll get back to, to that. I think there is a fixed day normally for, for, the, for the course. I'll find out and, and we'll let you know. All right. Now, um, this is a good slide to get back to. So this is kind of the topics that, uh, you know, that you should know quite a lot about by the end of the course. So, so this is kind of a contract. I'm going to go through like two, three of each uh, of, of these topics it, at each time there is a lecture. Uh, as you can see here, I'll be giving uh, eight lectures of about one hour each. Uh, and today, as you see, uh, so the, I'm in the middle of introducing the course. Uh, the other two topics I will talk about today would be financial markets in broad sense and then the Markovich mean variance model. Um, then we'll go through all the other topics, uh, shorting, risk-free borrowing, trading sizes, solver statement are topics of next week, for example, and transaction costs, mean absolute deviation models for the week after that. And then we talk about bonds, interest rates, bootstrapping, uh, dedication, interest rate risk, duration and convexity, immunization, and tracking models, value at risk, conditional value at risk, um, so yeah, scenarios, scenario generation using bootstrapping, and ETFs, feature selection using hierarchical clustering. So if you already know all these topics, then, well, you're, you don't need to be here, but uh, by, if, if, if not, then you're in the right place, or if you think, uh, oh, I mean, you might not even by the end of today uh, be quite convinced that, uh, you know, why would I exactly go through this, obviously, but hopefully by... Uh, by the end of the course, you should have a pretty good idea of in, in, in what way these, these, uh, these matters come together and why I've picked that. There are so many other topics to pick up, and, and there are many of them also in the book uh, called Practical Financial Optimization. So this is the book which um, I have recommended um, for you to, to read. Um, so all these topics, oh, well, not all of them, but most of these topics you can find in the, in the book as well in great detail. But um, in the slides that is going to be presented to you, you are going to have uh, kind of my uh, version of those, uh, those topics. And I'm going to also, I mean, you, you, can, you can look up uh, these, these topics. You can look up shorting or risk-free borrowing or uh, bonds probably there. You can find lots of uh, literature and, and lots of, lots of uh, learning material uh, on your own other places. So, so I also encourage you to do that. But, but uh, the, the more optimization-specific topics that I'll go through, they are all documented very well in this, in this book. All right. Um, so this, these were the topics. Um, so what you should expect from the course, or so what is this, this course actually about? Um, you will learn about fixed income 
uh, markets and you will learn about equity markets. So these are the, the, the two uh, major uh, parts of financial markets. Uh, there are also other, other parts of financial markets, but we'll talk mostly about bonds and, and stocks or you know, indices of, of stocks and bonds. So this is kind of what we uh, confine ourselves in, in this course. So I'll, I won't be talking about options and derivatives uh, in, in this course. The focus is more on optimization and risk management and less into going deep with different financial products. But obviously we'll be using some financial pro products, that being bonds in the one hand and, and the stocks and indices in the other. Um, right, so, so a lot of focus on optimization modeling uh, with focus on risk management, uh, be it on the bond markets uh, and in the stock markets and, and also on asset allocation in, in particular. Where there would be a lot of focus towards the end of the course. Um, you will learn a lot about how to model in GAMS um, and uh, get critical of analyzing your results in GAMS. So that, that's something that you have to, to, to focus on. Um, right, and then we will be using real financial data, both in the midterm project and in the, in the final project. That I have some other also real, but maybe old financial data that we'll use for exercises. Uh, and then for the projects, essentially, we, we, get, we get fresh data from different sources that I will introduce to you later on. Right? Um, and uh, finally, and quite, quite important part of the course is essentially that you have to learn how to test your models and be critical of your results. Uh, so we will talk about in the sample testing and out of sample testing, which is about how essentially uh, to, to convince first and foremost yourself that you have uh, done your modeling work right uh, that your results make sense and later on if, if, if you're working as a, as a risk manager, as a portfolio manager, how to convince your colleagues or, or your, uh, your, your manager that essentially what you're coming up with makes, makes sense, right? So that's uh, a lot of uh, discussion about testing and that's what also you have to do for the final project of the course. Right, so uh, how does it work? Um, some practical, practical stuff. Um, the course would be very, very much hands-on. Uh, so spend like two, three hours every time uh, to, uh, to program in, in GAMS and, and as, do, do the assignments. So I'll talk about one hour uh, eight times and the rest of it is either doing assignments or working on your projects. Right? So there will be a lot of, lot of work on your side. Um, and we will have exercises every week. Um, and uh, Two projects, as I mentioned before, uh, and that, that you do in groups, a midterm project and a final project. And also one, each group makes a little presentation about a financial crisis. And finally, you will be exempt uh, orally, individually at the end of the course. Right, so that was kind of the end of the par uh, part one. So there's actually one question there, yeah? Yeah, the size of the groups, how big? Uh, preferably two people. For each uh, group, that would be the, the right size. If there's three in some cases, that's okay, but most definitely or pro preferably not one. Yes? And the oral exam, is that going to be about the projects or about the stuff we learn, like the theory? Yeah, so, so the, the, the oral exam, the question was the oral exam, uh, how, how, how that's going to work. So the oral exam is essentially just uh, a 10 minute uh, exam. Well, I will ask you questions from uh, the two reports that you have handed in. So, so, it's not, so, so by the time you have handed in the, the two, two reports, you should, be, you should be safe, you don't need to, I mean, I won't go kind of off track from, from that, uh, at least not too much. Maybe uh, t testing a little bit your understanding, but I'll, I'll keep to the topics discussed in the two reports. Other questions about the setup of the course? Yeah, 